Alrighty. Heated seats, cooled seats. Just keep hitting it medium low off. Uh, lane correction, your lane drifting, remember it nudges the steering wheel. Hill descent control, and here is my favorite part of like my 21 Acadia. As you know, I drive one too. Front wheel, on the fly, you can still do all wheel. Sport mode, in case you need some more aggressive freeway driving for the day. Off-road, I don't think you're going to truly do off-road driving. And then tow haul mode will be the last one. And as you know, and as you see, tow haul mode also keeps it in all-wheel drive. Go again, and again, you can do those on the fly. Remember, at the stop sign, this stops running. Once it's up to optimal temperature, if that's annoying as heck, you can turn it off. It says auto stop off. But every time you turn your car on and off, it resets. So I try to tell my guests, just get used to it if you can. Quick way to turn off park assist. The bumper's beeping at you. Obviously, hazards, traction control. I don't think you have any questions on climate. Under audio, bass trouble, whatnot. To save a station like oh that's my favorite then push and hold and you're techie young and savvy you obviously know how to pair a phone GM nav if you want to go through the GM menu this is the menu option and go through that truly I'm gonna use navigation from your smartphone Apple CarPlay Android Auto vehicle settings Oops sounds so when you get in the car you don't get blast full of radio i'll just go ahead and set some of these i don't know if you can hear it but that's if you want the screen to beep at you when you touch it uh makes it easier and faster to talk to the car so let's set that up apps this is auto volume. When your speed slows down, do you want your radio to dip down in volume? I'll just leave that off for now. So whether it's hot or cold and you start your car, it'll turn on anything vented to cool down your seats or heated seats. Vehicle. Backseat reminder. That reminds you, if you put something in back, people will always get defensive. Oh, I'm not going to leave my child in back. Why well, leave it on in my Acadia? It reminds me, hey, Troy, you went to Fleet Farm. You put some stuff in back. Then I put my groceries up front. says, hey, silly, look in the back so the ice cream doesn't melt. So I kind of like that backseat reminder, to be honest. Here's safety, the rumble seat, alert and brake. All safety is on. Remember, hands-free lift gate, you kick just softly under the bumper, just left of your license plate. This one, when you put the car in reverse, do you like the mirrors to kind of tilts and give you the curb view? I don't, but maybe you do in the cities for parallel parking. So if you do want that on, you turn it on there. I'll leave it on for giggles, just because where you live, drive, and work, you're going to do more parallel parking than what we do up here in Brainerd this is when you hit lock and walk away at night and it's dark do you like the headlights to stay on for a little bit or go off right away I'll guess maybe you want 30 seconds this makes it harder to lock the keys in the car this is when you put the car in park do you want all the doors to unlock just the driver door or all day all doors stay locked until you have to pull the handle twice to get out. So there's your options. I'm just going to guess driver door since you're not dropping off kids at school or anything. But that's where you change it. This is when you hit lock and the key fob. Do you want the horn or just lights only? This is passive. So when you walk up to the driver door only and hit uh, the silver button in the driver's door I just like to only have the driver door open when you walk up to your driver door and there's someone else with you double tap the button in the driver's door all doors will spring out and I like I don't like passive locking you can just close your last door walk away and it'll automatically lock the doors within 15 seconds or the keys walk 15 feet away I don't like that 
just close, so I'll leave it off for now. Close your last door. When you're done grabbing stuff out of your car, hit that silver button, whichever of the four door handles you're staring at when you close your last door, that'll lock your doors. <coughs> Turn that on, the key fob, it'll recognize your key fob came in and go back to memory seat that you set. And then I'll turn on easy exit in case you do want the seat to go down and back. The steering wheel to raise up for more room to get in and out. Remember all your different camera views. And I think that'll do it inside. I'll do one more video here sometime today on... Uh, setting up the app on your phone. Thanks guys.